suggested a mic before. <laughs> um, your next comic coming to the stage is so funny. She's such a boss babe. Please give it up for Leslie Liao. Hello, hello. I'm Resri. I know you guys are like, here we go again, another Chinese female stand-up, really? Like, everyone knows the number one stereotype of Chinese women. We're hilarious. But it's time to give white guys a chance up here, right? So I am an Asian female, which is a problem for me because most people meet me and they expect my voice to sound more anime. <laughs> and less NBA. <laughs> when I'm having a casual conversation, I sound like LeBron James giving a post-game interview. <laughs> if someone's like, hey Leslie, how's it going? I'm like, this season has been tough. <laughs> I did my best. I'm just gonna keep hustling to prove all those haters wrong. God bless. <laughs> when I was a kid, I could never hang out with my friends outside of school because I'd have to call their parents' house and ask their parents' permission. So their dad would pick up the phone and be like, hey, Mr. Brooks, can your daughter come over to my house tonight and play with me? I was like, all right, Lauren, that's enough. The fourth member of Boys to Men is calling you again. At school, Lauren's like, Leslie, my dad won't let me hang out with you. And I'm like, girl, you know we belong together. <laughs> uh, it's hard being Asian American because traditional Asians judge me a lot for not being Asian enough. Like I get death stares from Chinese waiters when I ask for a fork instead of chopsticks. <laughs> They're like, oh no, chopsticks? Pretty disrespectful to your culture. I'm like, take it easy, Tyrone. I know how to use chopsticks. I just choose to live my life with logic and reason. I don't need to eat tens of thousands of tiny individual grains of rice with wooden sticks. I'm not serving you soup with a knife. Also, who was bothered that I named the Chinese waiter Tyrone? Can I be named Tyrone? Um, so I have a pretty uh, stereotypical Asian mother and she would motivate me in really weird ways to do well in school. And I can never relate to my white friends because their parents would be like, I know you're trying, sweetheart, but heck, if you don't pass science, I might have to take away your TV privileges. <laughs> do you know what my mom would say to me? Lastly. <laughs> If you no get A in US history, your shame and dishonor will kill me in my sleeping. Do you want me die? So I'm sorry you can't watch the real world Chicago anymore, Amber, but if I can't explain the Louisiana purchase, I'll be guilty of involuntary manslaughter. <laughs> high school, more like high stakes, am I right? <laughs> uh, so I work full time in an office, uh, eight hours. Full time, of course, meaning I work for one hour and then I <laughs> pretend to work for seven hours. So. I end up turning into this like abstract avant-garde performance artist where I'll just like pick up the phone and be like, we don't have the bandwidth for that. <laughs> like grab a post-it and write status update, crumple it up and throw it away. I'll just open and close drawers just to make noise. And if my boss walks by, I'll open up a Word doc and just keep typing synergy, 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 synergy. <laughs> uh, so I just turned 30 this year and I... I've noticed that my fears are changing now that I'm getting older. Like when I was a kid, I couldn't sleep at night because my fears would keep me awake. I'd be like, oh no, I think there's a monster hiding under my bed. Now as an adult, I'm like, oh no, I think I'm incapable of loving someone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Turns out the monster is me. So I'm single. Um, and I blame Disney fairy tale movies because Disney fairy tale movies gave us this unrealistic expectation of love growing up. Like, Aladdin was the worst. Aladdin gave Princess Jasmine a magic carpet ride so she could see the entire world in one night. I can show you the world. That was their first date. My first dates don't go down like that. Like, what's my magical Disney first date song? He'll ask me, where are you from? I'll say, Orange County. He'll say, no, but like, where are you really from? Is he seriously asking this question that the Cheesecake Factory? I'm fucking Chinese, you fucking racist piece of shit. Did you just say you voted for Trump? We're not gonna hump. I'd rather die alone than sleep with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm LeBron James, thank you.